Yep, sure. Great. So, could you introduce yourself for us? Yes, uh, my name is uh, Spiros Gosetis and I'm the uh, marketing director uh, for Sony Mobile in Middle East and Africa. Tell us a little bit about this activation that you have currently going on here. We said that 2014 is going to be for uh, Sony Mobile a year for bigger, better and bolder in the way that we communicate our portfolio as well as in the way that we um, actually present our portfolio. So um, uh, we thought about it, we wanted to inspire and fulfill the curiosity and imagination of the people in, uh, in our region. So um, uh, we chose, uh, we chose uh, this as, uh, as an idea that offers much, much more than just um, presenting our, um, um, our portfolio. It's also the context in which this is happening. We wanted uh, our consumers around uh, the, the world to, uh, to share in the experiences because this is what uh, mobility is all about. We are using mobiles to, um, uh, to, to, to actually share our lives, connect with people, and basically it has become our everyday thing. It's like the much more important even than the key to your house. So um, experiences with, um, uh, with uh, um, our mobility and our Xperia, right, Sony Mobile, it was to us what we wanted to have at the, at the center of this particular activity. So, yeah. That's this is the world's first underwater store, I believe. You're setting a new record Concept here. store, Concept yes, that, store. that's correct, that's, that's correct. correct. So, I mean, what kind of preparation went into the, you know, into setting something like this up? This is the first time it's ever been done, from what I know. What kind uh, of preparation, you know? It, it, it is true, we had, we had to go to, 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 to actually, because we are not uh, a company which uh, deals with uh, marine structures. So we had to find this, uh, this uh, as, as it happened, this um, uh, Australian uh, marine company that uh, it specializes in underwater structures and uh, a lot of other things that have to do with uh, the aquatic environment, uh, the sea environment, the water environment. And, um, and, but the most important stuff before it came into this, it was um, the idea that it was uh, behind it. Um, uh, by doing this, the, um, uh, this particular um, uh, store, we, it's, we reaffirm our confidence in our uh, technologies of Sony. And one of them, uh, of course, it's the, uh, the waterproof devices, which allow, you, allow people to really enjoy their lives, share their experiences, uh, without being afraid that something is going to happen to their phone. And um, uh, perhaps, uh, as consumers, all of us, we know it, that one of the leading causes of um, uh, damages to our phones, apart from uh, throwing them down, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's water. Um, so um, uh, we, um, uh, we wanted to, in, in, in this way, to reaffirm our, our as I said, our uh, confidence in our technologies of Sony, which is not just the waterproof, it's not just the design, it's a lot of other things, but we wanted to bring this as an example and as a result to, uh, to showcase our whole Xperia portfolio. How, how many weeks or months did it take for you to prepare for this? Um, well, it took, um, it took uh, actually a um, uh, good three months for the, um, for, the, for the time that we had the, uh, the original, uh, and a little bit more, for the original designs to finally form them into um, what it is we have already seen in, in some of the photos, like the, the jellyfish with uh, its tentacles. So, um, and uh, because we had to find a way also to, to make it uh, beautiful outside and inside as well, because that's what Sony, it's hardware, software, everything had to, uh, to work out perfectly well. Uh, even having, uh, let's say, uh, Wi-Fi inside the store, it was a technical uh, fit to do it, uh, which is, of course, it could happen because inside it's dry, you can breathe normal air, so it's like the Wi-Fi router that you have at home. But um, at first it seemed almost an impossible thing. Then we got really excited about that, and we started really um, uh, kind of, we didn't believe it ourselves, uh, to the extent to which we had gone, um, but that's exactly what it is. It's the passion that you have for the brand, and, um, and, and then that gives you quite a lot of, uh, of energy to, now, to go ahead and do it. Uh, the recent earning report, Sony Mobile, unfortunately revenues weren't as strong as the company was hoping or expecting. Uh, how does this affect the Middle Eastern region? Actually, we are one of the, um, of the growth um, regions for, um, for Sony Mobile. Um, and uh, it's uh, the whole Middle East and Africa, which goes all the way from Turkey down to, um, uh, to, to South Africa. Uh, it's, it's a region that uh, it is quite uh, profitable for, um, uh, for Sony Mobile. Um, so um, for us, uh, we, have, uh, we are experiencing in the last, uh, since we also became um, a part of Sony, um, 
because as we know before, we were Sony Ericsson to Sony in 2012, we're experiencing uh, double digit growth. So um, for us, it is not at all, uh, it has not affected us uh, at least a bit. Um, are you going to continue following the six month product cycle? So expecting to see a new products released by Sony in the next couple of months or so? It has, it has served us um, quite well. This was um, the strategy that we have followed in the last uh, few years. That does not necessarily mean that we will um, continue this in, in the future. It was uh, part of our, also, um, uh, uh, of our own belief that it, to be in the forefront of technology, and technology is so fast, um, uh, we, had, uh, the, um, uh, we had the need to, um, uh, to, to have every six months uh, a flagship. That is not necessary though that we will continue in the future. Uh, when can we expect these new smartwatch to release in the Middle East? We are having already the, um, uh, as you know, the, uh, the smart band uh, dock, which I'm uh, wearing, <laughs> and uh, and of course, uh, and, and, and of course, uh, this is waterproof as well. Uh, now, one of the reasons that uh, we did not have the watch, the watch is already uh, ready for uh, UAE in specific, because it is not, it has nothing to do with um, uh, with Sony Mobile. It has to do with uh, with Google. It has to be uh, because of the languages. It has to be. Um, uh, Every phone has to be, let's say, has to have the English language, or in the countries that it is being launched, it has to have also the um, the right language. So, uh, if not all the languages at the same time uh, they are being um, uh, provided for, that's the um, uh, what it stops. It. Otherwise, uh, the, um, uh, it is already ready and it's in, it's been disseminated in the countries. But as I said, in specifically and as far as um, uh, UAE is concerned, it's uh, it's been uh, it's been approved. Um, you mentioned Google and they've recently released Android 5.0, Lollipop. Uh, when can we expect to see those for Sony phones, the new Sony phones, the Z3, the Z2? First of all, the one thing that I, uh, that I have to say uh, for sure, this is one of the, uh, of the strengths I believe that uh, Sony Mobile has. Every new technology that it comes in, especially software, uh, and in, uh, in our Z series, which you know is uh, the premium uh, series as well, we always, whenever we have a launch, we have the updates, software updates, that they go all the way back into our previous uh, handsets. Um, so, um, regarding Lollipop in, uh, in specific, um, I do not. We have not yet. Uh, I, I do not. I do not know the answer to this question of this, uh, this one, but I can. I can find out for you. Thank you very but, much. Yes, it's going to be updated. Never. Uh, yes. Right. Thanks very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Best of luck with the store. Thanks a lot.